Patrick, first of all, congratulations on the game-winning goal. We'll talk about that in a minute. We'll just talk about the difference from last night to tonight. Obviously, last night's a game you guys weren't very happy with, uh, your performance on the defensive side as well. Talk about what your mindset was coming into this game tonight, playing more physical in a show. Yeah, I think we, uh, you know, our job was getting pucks to the net, and we did. Uh, if you look at the shot count, we outshot them. Getting pucks in deep and establishing a forecheck, and I think we did that pretty well all night. Um, you know, defensively, we wanted to work on keeping them in front of us. Unfortunately, we had uh, a couple too many uh, mistakes, uh, myself included, and uh, which makes that game winner even sweeter. You talk about those mistakes. How you know last night there there were those mistakes, and you guys didn't seem to really be able to overcome them. What was the talk, especially amongst the defense tonight, even when those mistakes uh, those mistakes that led to those kept happening? You know, uh, you gotta have a short-term memory. You know, uh, I try to be a guy that leads by example, and uh, I was pretty frustrated after that uh, first goal left my guy in the slot there. But uh, it's one of those things you got to put past the other playoffs is, uh, you know, it's a short second season and little mistakes if you let uh, pile up, it's just going to make you a worse player. So I think a lot of the guys were able to put that past us and uh, be able to get a W there. Two guys we talked about a lot during the regular season. We're starting to talk about again during the postseason. Colton Beck, Wade McLeod, those two turned into quite the scoring pair. What's it like to have those guys up front? It's huge. Uh, I mean, our offense is, is so deep. And, and our back end is getting better and better. You know, we're, we're a unit that is, that is building and getting more experience as every game goes on. But uh, obviously up front, th those guys are uh, fantastic. They're, they're creative, they play tough, and uh, you know, they bring it every night. And finally, let's talk about that, that game winning goal in overtime. You seem to be out there on an island all by yourself, probably a wide open shot. Uh, just walk us through that play, what you saw, and uh, just take us through the moment. Yeah, no, uh, we had the puck in deep. And uh, we were cycling, and then Dollar uh, had the patience to, to look off a couple guys going the net that were covered and threw a great pass, a sauce pass to me. And uh, I, I kind of had shot mentality the whole way and figured that two guys are coming out my lane that I got to go high here and, uh, and hope for the best. And uh, that, that was crazy. How sweet was that emotion after the game, especially after last night? It, it, it was unreal. It's still settling in for me. Uh, I didn't have my best game tonight, and I pride myself defensively. So to be able to jump in and and do something like that. Like I said, it's it's still settling in, but it's uh, it's pretty sweet. All right, you guys lead the series two to one. You have basically a week off. Then you're back home at CenturyLink Arena for Friday and Saturday. A chance to, to put an end to this series. What do you guys got to do over this next week to get ready for a critical game four and five? Yeah, I think we enjoy this one. I, I think we built from what we uh, did well and, and learned from the mistakes that uh, that we all have every game. You know, um, we, get, we gotta take it one game at a time. This is a good team. This, this team comes out, they play physical than any team that we've played against. Um, so I think we need to keep getting pucks behind them, going in the net, and uh, work them down well. All right, congrats on the win tonight. Congrats on the game winning goal, and uh, we'll see you in about a week back home. Thanks a lot.